In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use the Techno Art Photoshop action. So the first thing we want to do is load up our actions. So to do that, we go to the window menu, we select actions, the actions panel will appear here to the right. We click on the top right hand corner icon and select load actions. Uh, you want to select the techno.atn file. And there it is there. So now we want to open up our photo uh, that we want to work with. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate the action across four different photos, uh, just to demonstrate how adjusting the settings after the action has finished uh, can really optimize your result. So let's go ahead and open up our first image. So when you've got your photo open, uh, you want to leave your layer called background. Uh, you don't want to call it anything else apart from that. So with the photo open, we just select our action and we click play. Now the action will probably take anywhere from 30 seconds to a minute to build. Uh, it really depends on your uh, speed of your computer. So let's go ahead and click play. Okay, so it's finished and there's our result. So if we just minimize the actions panel and we go over into the layer palette, let's minimize these folders and take a look what the action has done. So first let's create these two folders here. If we just hide, if we just hide these folders, you can see uh, the effect, what it's, how it's um, created this look. So let's go down inside each folder and talk about uh, what the action is created for us to work with. So inside the photo adjustments folder, we have uh, nine different color options. You can experiment with those. Uh, you can mix them up, um, do whatever you want there. Next one down, we have black and white. That'll just convert your image to black and white. Dark and edges, if I just zoom out here, that will just put a soft vignette around your photo. Increase saturation and increase contrast. So these are some small adjustment layers you can use you know, after you're happy with the look of your design. So going down into the TechnoArt folder, you'll notice that I've called it TechnoArt Change Folder Opacity. Now if you notice that the folder opacity is currently set to 70%. Now if I click on the word opacity and drag to the left, it will remove the entire effect. Now if I bring it up to 100, it brings in the effect to 100%. So I set the default amount to 70, so you can actually start off at zero and drag to the right to slowly bring in the effect to a level that you're happy with. Okay, so let's go inside the TechnoArt folder and let's just minimize these folders here. So the top layer we have is called White Edge, edge Sketch. Now if I drag, click and drag the opacity here to zero, oh sorry, to 100, you'll see that what it does around certain contours of the image, it adds like a white sketch effect. Now, bring this to zero, back to 100, you can see the effect there. So, generally you want to keep this one pretty low, but it really depends on the look that you're going for. Uh, in this case, I'm going to leave this about 50%. Now, the layer below, add details. This one just brings in um, some original detail, some original photo details into the design. So if I click this off, you'll see if you just look around his eye and nose, it brings back uh, some of the, yeah, the original photo details. So you can experiment with that layer. You can also adjust the opacity of it to um, get to a level you're happy with. Okay, folder blur, abstract lines. If I just turn this folder off, you'll see that the, the abstract lines are these black lines that run around um, certain contours of the photo. If we go inside the folder, we have line color. You can double click on this box to change the color of the lines. Below, we have the, act the abstract lines layer. Passy is currently set to 20%. If I click and drag this up to 100, you can clearly see the lines there. Bring back to zero. So I'm going to 
leave mine about 20%, okay? Folder below, we have the edge highlight. So if we go inside, we have the edge highlight color and the edge highlight layer. Now the edge highlight layer, the opacity is currently set to 20% by default. So if you click and drag uh, the opacity to 100%, you'll see what that effect does. Uh, adds like a sketch effect around um, details of your photo. It can really help to find uh, certain areas. So the opacity of this layer will really depend on what look you're going for. Uh, in this case, I am going to uh, leave it around 50%, okay? Folder below is shape design. Uh, if we drag the opacity this to zero, you can see that this folder is really, uh, contains most of the elements that help build the look of this action. So if we bring it up to 100%, you can see the effect there. You can see the layers inside. You can experiment with turning these off. Okay. So let's go ahead now and open up uh, the next photo to work with. So I'll close this photo and open up the next. So use this one. Okay. So let's go ahead and play the action. Okay. So that's finished. So let's go inside our folders and optimize the look. So let's start off at the top, take that folder opacity, let's change this to 100%. And that's probably a bit too strong for what I'm going for, so I'm going to bring this back down about 70%. Wide edge sketch, let's bring this up to 100. Okay, it looks pretty good, probably a bit too strong. Let's bring that back down a bit. Add details, I'll turn this off and on to see the effect. Uh, I quite like what that's doing, so I'm going to leave that on. The abstract lines might just turn this folder off. Uh, the edge highlight, let's bring this layer up, the opacity up to 100 and see what we've got. Okay, so that you can see that's helping to define uh, the buildings a lot more. So it's, it's a little bit too strong. So I'll bring this opacity down. 55%. Okay, let's go into our photo adjustments folder. And let's see what it looks like with a bit of extra contrast. Okay, that looks good. We'll bring the opacity of this layer down um, to about 30%. Let's check it out with increased saturation. Okay, I'll leave that on. Um, let's have a look at our color options. Okay, let's just go for color option 8. And I'm happy with that, so let's minimize these folders and we'll turn them both off and have a look at our finished result. Okay, let's close this photo and open up our next. Okay, let's go ahead and play the action. Okay, so let's start off by minimizing these folders and we'll drag the opacity of the Technart effect all the way up to 100. Uh, let's check this white edge sketch effect at 100%. Okay, that's too much. I'll bring this back down. 70%. Let's turn the add details layer off. Okay, I quite like it off altogether. Um, this white edge sketch effect is still a bit too strong. Bring this down. Okay, the abstract lines. The opacity is a little bit too uh, high for me, or for this image, so I'm going to select the abstract lines layer, uh, bring this opacity down 10%, and we'll keep the edge highlight off, I think, this photo. So let's go inside our photo adjustments layer. We'll actually, we'll turn, yep, we'll turn the edge highlights off. So inside our photo adjustments layer, let's, let's have a look at more uh, contrast. Okay, I'll probably like it how it is. Increase saturation. That's not bad. I'll bring the opacity down a little bit. Uh, I'll leave those two layers and we'll check out our color options. Now 
let's just go with number eight again and there's our final look so we'll just turn these two folders off to compare it against the original so there's our original and after a few tweaks of our settings there's our finished result okay let's go ahead and open up our next photo Okay, so let's go ahead and click play on our action. Alrighty, let's see what we can do with this photo. So we'll just minimize our folders here. Okay, uh, first things first, let's check the opacity of the Techno Art folder at 100%. Okay, that looks pretty cool. I might leave that at 100% for the moment. Uh, let's turn off add details okay as you can see I've, I've turned that off and we've lost quite a lot of the original details from the photo so I'm going to turn that back on but I'm going to bring the opacity right down to zero then drag it up and leave it at around 47% looks good okay white edge sketch effect let's bring that up to 100 that's far too much for what we want we want to keep this one low at 40% abstract lines uh, you can see in the middle here it's added a bit of extra detail uh, probably a little bit too strong so we'll bring this back down to about 10% uh, the edge highlight let's take a look at this one up um, at around 100% let's go to 100% bring it back down Probably I need a little bit. Let's go about 28%. Alright, so that's I'm happy with that. Let's jump into our photo adjustments and see uh, what we can do in here. Okay, increase contrast. Don't feel it needs some extra contrast, so we'll leave that as it is. Increase saturation. Uh, like that look, so we're going to keep, keep that. Uh, let's add a little vignette around this. And let's check out some of our colors. All right, number one looks good, and we'll mix that with. So this number nine looks good. All right, so I am happy with that. So let's turn our two folders off. Compare it against our original. So there's our original fo uh, photo, and there's our end result. So that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoy using this action and come up with some really cool results. Uh, just contact me if you need any assistance with the action and good luck.